Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we shall take a look at autoregressive models. So uh, autoregressive models, as the name suggests, are regressions on themselves. So Pth autoregressive process or uh, autoregressive uh, model of order P basically satisfies uh, this equation. So you can see that the current value of the process, right, yt, um, is based on the past p values and, and the current white noise term. So you can think of this as a regression model, right? yt is the response and the, uh, the, the past p values of the process are the regressor terms and this wt is the error term. So the first order process will be denoted as AR1 and it will uh, satisfy this particular model. So yt is the response and the predictor is the past uh, value, right? Uh, or yt minus one. So let's try and visualize the autoregressive model. So I'm going to generate a, a model uh, so where uh, wt is normally distributed with mean 0 and variance 1 and it's going to be an autoregressive process of order 2. You can see that xt depends on the past two values and this would be the error term of the, auto, uh, of the regression model, so to say. You can use the filter function from R to generate autoregressive models. So you have to worry about the initial values, right, in autoregressive models. So if you go back, so y at time point 1 is going to be 8 times y0 plus w1, right? So uh, if it was an AR2 uh, model, then y1 would depend on y0 and y minus 1. So we have to worry about initial values. So we are just going to initiate all of these uh, or we're just going to set all of the initial values to zero. And if you generate this series and plot it, this is how it looks like. So you can see that there is some kind of periodicity, right, uh, in this plot. So what are some of the implications of the autoregressive model? So what they do is they predict the future based on the past values. So what this means is, that these models implicitly assume that the future will resemble the past, right? So if you have to, if you have a reason to believe that this is true, you can opt for an autoregressive model. They're widely used in technical analysis to uh, forecast future security prices. Again, if the future is not going to resemble the past, then it won't work very well. Another application that we could think about is maybe modeling house prices. So this is all about autoregressive model. So moving average and autoregressive models are the main, or the, uh, they're the two big models in this course. However, there are several other models that are also useful. And so we'll study uh, random work in the next video. You will see that this is a, a very cute and a useful model. It has a lot of implications as well. So that's all for this video. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.